Welcome to Olympian Water Testing, giving you the best in water analysis. Today we're looking at the city of Watertown, New York, and they have some good information about lead and lead in water. So let's take a look and see what's going on with lead in the city of Watertown and to understand the health effects of lead. So first, the health effects of lead. Lead can cause serious problems if too much enters your body from drinking, water, or other sources. And even say that there's no safe amount of lead. While there are some heavy metals like iron and copper that can help with different functions in your body, there's no safe amount of lead, and it's especially detrimental for younger people. It can cause damage to the brain, the kidneys. It can interfere with the production of red blood cells and carry oxygen to all parts of your body. The greatest risk of lead exposure to infants, young children, and pregnant women in the EPA's website contains more information about lead and its effect on health. So, the source of lead. It's a common metal found in the environment, and drinking water is one possible source of lead exposure. The main sources of lead exposure are lead-based paint, lead contaminated dust or soil, and some plumbing materials. In addition, lead can be found in certain types of pottery, pewter, brass fixtures, food, and cosmetics. And new brass faucets, fittings, and valves, including those advertised as lead-free, may contribute to lead in drinking water. So just something labeled lead-free doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to either be completely lead free or that there might be something else. There might not be any lead in the pipes, but maybe there is a lead in some type of fixture. Maybe there is a lead in the pipe leading out to where it's coming from, or even if it's being done at a water treatment plant, it can still come from a source inside your house. The law currently allows and use brass fixtures such as faucets with up to 8% lead to be labeled as lead free. So that's not completely lead free. It just has brass and then there's a little bit of lead. However, plumbing fixtures labeled National Sanitation Foundation and SF certified may only have up to 2% lead. Consumers should be aware of this when choosing fixtures and take appropriate precautions. And you can take a look at that at the National Sanitation Foundation to learn more about lead contained plumbing fixtures and the EPA's guide on how to identify lead free certification marks for drinking water systems. Now, Coming to the city of Watertown has no records of lead service lines within its distribution system, which is good. Although some homes may have lead connections or goosenecks, which can be replaced. So to do that, make sure to contact the water department. And that's a good idea because where does lead come from? It comes from older pipes. Also, the city of Watertown adds a corrosion inhibitor, sodium silicate, that forms a protective barrier to prevent the leaching of lead copper from pipes as well. And if you suspect that there is lead, you can run cold water to flush it out, use cold water for cooking, baby formula, and do not boil the water to remove lead. And you can also consider installing a water filter. So that is all good information right here, and it's good to see the city of Watertown is doing well. That being said though, there could still be lead in specific houses there. There can still be lead in your house, even if you have pipes that are lead free. That's why it's always a good idea to periodically test your water for any levels of lead.